What's going on everyone? John here, just hanging out in Bogota for a couple of weeks in Colombia. Listen, one of the biggest questions I've been getting asked is, what do I do when my pages get disabled on Facebook? So we've been experimenting a lot with this. We've been seeing a lot of our clients and a lot of people in our free Discord have issues with the same thing too. So I wanna show you what is working, what's working today, and what to do if your pages are constantly getting banned, shut down, or restricted. So before we jump into my screen and I actually show you the strategy around pages and what to do if you do get disabled, just for some context, I mean, you're probably watching this video because you're having a problem. Facebook has been on an absolute tear to disable pretty much any brand new page that begins to advertise or even ones that have been advertising for long periods of time, I'm talking months or years, legitimate brands, legitimate small local businesses, brick and mortar gyms, you name it, that are policy compliant and it's giving zero explanation or, or reasoning for this. And I mean, Facebook probably understands how disrupt this, this is for people that, you know, on a smaller scale depend on this to pay their bills and on a larger scale depend on this to make a bunch of money online, right? Whether it's lead gen or e-commerce like I do or something else. The point being, Facebook is broken, okay? So I'm gonna show you an example of what to do if this happens to you, okay? And you know, you could say this is circumventing, but at the same time, if you just get disabled and they fail your identity confirmation, which they're gonna probably request from you, for, uh, you know, you're dead anyway. So what's the point in, you know, just giving up at that point? You need to have a solution, right, to keep going. Because I can promise you, if you choose to work through the BS that Facebook gives you, you will absolutely continue to have a highly profitable business if you have one already. If you don't have one yet, that's a whole other story, but besides the point. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blur out a lot of the page names, but you will still see that these are, most of these are clearly pages, and you'll see the clear dates here, right? So like if I highlight this one right here, oh, I highlight, uh, highlight, okay, yeah, you can see, you can see I'm select, I'm hovering over these, right? So these are all pages, okay? They were all restricted in a relatively short period of time after launching ads, some immediately, some within a few hours, some within a few days, but we're seeing recovery, okay? And I'm filming this on September 13th here, right? And we're seeing recoveries even September 12th, okay? Here's another account, okay? Obviously blurred out for, for privacy reasons, but nonetheless, you see data resolution is recent. So this isn't like some old strategy I'm talking about from six months ago, nine months ago, 12 months ago, it doesn't work anymore. This is what's working today, okay? And I can promise you that once you get something to stick, it will stick and it will stick for a long period of time. Okay, so if you look at my screen now, you're actually gonna see this strategy in play here, okay? And I've blurred out a lot of the stuff for privacy, of course, but nonetheless, you can see here that I spent $33,158.65 profitably on Facebook. Yes, Facebook still does work, but I've done this in the last two weeks. And just so you see these accounts, they're active. You can see this, right? Each one has its own page. You can't see the page names, but just, take my you know word for that right and i say this because a lot of people say oh like yeah i'll try that and then they get one page disabled and they basically give up well that's not the reality okay i put out a video about this probably six to eight weeks ago showing a very similar idea and it's it's basically all written true and i just wanted to take a minute to show you live that this is working today when I, this video is being filmed and then posted within a day or two so the strategy is very simple, okay? Basically, you need an established ad account. This can be one, a regular ad account, that's whether it's from a business manager or a personal ad account that has had spend history, not something brand new, or an agency ad account, okay? It's gotta be one of those two categories. It can't be a brand new business manager with a brand new ad account, because that'll probably get disabled when you start running ads, even if they're compliant, because Facebook's broken, like I said, okay? What you want to do, is you want to have as many pages as possible. What type of pages, you're probably wondering. Well, you could try reinstated pages or age pages, which you can find from sellers online all over. I don't sell pages, I don't sell profiles, business pages, none of that. But I just tell people what to do if, you're living, if this was to happen to me. And you can create new ones, okay? Now, do they need to be completely different, right? So like, does it need to be a, a radically different page name from your current brand or whatever, however you do your page names? No, it can be 
the same page created by a different profile because one profile cannot create two pages that have the same name, Facebook won't allow it, or you create a variation, right? So if your shop is like, I don't know, Shoppy Go, you can have the second page be Shoppy Go Online and the third page be the Shoppy Go. So once you have your pages ready to start running ads with, that's the next step is you basically need to launch ads. And I've tried this in a lot of ways. I try to where, you know, we warm up the pages. What I mean by that is we post in them for a long, like once a day, three times a day, every day for seven days and 14 days and 21 days and 28 days, whether they're brand new pages recently created or aged and or reinstated pages. Now this will help. This will reduce the percentage of pages that instantly become disabled or become disabled in a relatively short period of time after you start running ads. But it's not 100%, nothing is. Remember, even brands that are legitimate, that have fast shipping and great customer service, not saying you don't, but just to give you an extreme example, even brands are getting hit. None of this makes sense. What I'm sharing with you is the only thing that makes some sense of it, okay? But it's not 100% you're just gonna find that the more activity you do before you launch those ads, the less likely your pages are to get restricted, okay? So just be aware of that. Now, does it mean you need to do that? No, we've actually found that you can put, source a bunch of pages, whether purchased and rebranded and or created from the same profile or from multiple profiles, and you can launch from them relatively quickly. Now, of course, if you choose to launch faster, whether with a page that you purchased that was reinstated or that was old from 2015, 2016, 2018, 2019, doesn't matter, or a brand new page, I find consistently there is a higher percentage likelihood that you will absolutely get the page restricted. Now, what do you do? So as an example, let's just say whether we move slower and we want pages up or we launch straight away after sourcing a bunch of pages and, and we launch the ad straight away, Okay, let's say that 50% of the pages instantly restrict within minutes or hours or days, okay? And I'm talking like campaigns, BP, it doesn't matter. You can go straight to conversions. It's basically gonna be the same outcome. Facebook is broken, okay? Once you have launched and then the pages get restricted, you then want to take those pages and you want to immediately appeal them. Of that 50% of your total pages that became restricted, you're gonna find maybe 30% recover, maybe 70% recover, maybe 20% recover. I found zero consistency with this. What we're doing right now is we're mass testing this. We're testing a lot of pages. I'm talking about we're pushing 100 brand new pages and mixed in with some recovered and you know reinstated and aged pages as well. And we're tracking everything and we're gonna get an actual rough estimate but the thing is, it's not consistent because some days you'll see like five pages randomly recover and then you'll see the next five stay pending for two weeks and then like two permanently reject and another three never update. So it's just kind of random. The point is, just like my last video on Facebook pages, this really is a numbers game. You have to treat it as such. If you have five pages or two pages or one page and you try to launch ads and then they get restricted and then you get frustrated and you want to quit, well, that's your problem. You're the one missing out. You're the one losing. And I don't recommend you do that because there's a lot of money to be made. There's a lot of business to be found through Facebook advertising, even with iOS, even with all the craziness of the bands and the profiles and all this effery that we've gone through, right? You know, Facebook's put me through the ringer personally. I am deleted on Facebook. I am no longer a Facebook user. I'm okay with that. I'm just here to show you what to do so that you don't have to worry about uh, these little things stopping you and actually shutting you down, okay? so. The idea is very simple. You need to source a bunch of pages. You need to push them through as either quickly if you choose to, or you lower your odds and move slowly of pages getting disabled, but some still will. Keep that in mind, like go into this with that mindset, knowing that within a few days, or if you go slower within a few weeks, you're gonna be left over with a bunch of pages that you can run ads on and that they're gonna last for long periods of time, whether that be a month or six months or a year, that, I don't know, that's up to you. That depends on what you're advertising. Anything could happen with Facebook. That is a reality, that's a sad reality. But just follow the strategy, do what I'm showing here, and I can promise you within a matter of days or weeks if you move slower, but if you take massive action, you will absolutely be up and running on Facebook without age issues. Now, when it comes to profiles being restricted, business managers being disabled, everything else in between, that's a whole nother story. 
join my free discord if you haven't already where we talk about this stuff or schedule a call with my team with the link below and we'll see if we can help you depending on exactly what you're trying to accomplish when it comes to struggling with facebook and getting shut down banned or restricted go ahead and click the link now you see with this video and connect there or join the discord and i'll see you in the next video where i'll be talking probably again about facebook being crazy